Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Larson, and this is Keep It Real. Keep It Real is all about real talk based on my 20 plus years of clinical experience. What we're really talking about is real food, real medicine, and real change. The Midlife Health Minute in this episode of Keep It Real with Dr. Chad Larson is possible with the help of pure prescriptions. Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Larson. A lot of people have asked me during the COVID era, um, is vitamin D a total scam? And there's a lot of things probably during COVID that were a little scamish, you know, some things that the information wasn't really vetted, you know, to the degree that it, maybe it should have been. But vitamin D, here's the thing is, it's called a vitamin because it's vital. The body just doesn't work without vitamin D. And here's the thing is it's actually not a vitamin, um, despite what the name says, it's actually a hormone. Technically it's a pro-hormone, which means it's like a building block for a hormone. And vitamin D absolutely works like a hor hormone in the system, meaning hormones are basically the chemical messengers between all the different organ systems. And that's exactly how vitamin D works. You really can't name an organ system that, that vitamin D doesn't influence in some way. Another way to think about it is the conditions or the symptoms that are associated with low vitamin D status. Obviously, we know about the immune system, absolutely vital for, for normal immune function. You gotta have optimal levels of vitamin D. We'll get to optimal levels in just a moment, but also things like uh, bone health. You know, People have heard of osteoporosis and osteopenia, and these are conditions of bone integrity that vitamin D is absolutely vital for, but also things like autoimmune conditions. If you are low in vitamin D, there's an increased chance of developing one of these immune dysregulated autoimmunities, but also things like diabetes and a whole host of neurocognitive issues can really be influenced by vitamin D, not to mention your muscles, joints, and bones, your gastrointestinal tract. So again, you really can't name an organ system that vitamin D isn't absolutely vital for. And so how do you know if you're low in vitamin D? Here's the problem is that the reference ranges of most lab tests are really, really inadequate. They have a very antiquated kind of mechanism to determine the proper reference range. And so let me just kind of break that down a little bit. The upside is you can get your vitamin D tested, which I do on every one of my patients, and you should absolutely know where your vitamin D status at from a, a laboratory uh, number standpoint. Most labs go all the way down to like 20 or 30. Uh, as a normal reference range, kind of the bottom end of the normal. I want all my patients to be about 50 and maybe even between you know, 60 and 80 would be really, really ideal. And to get to that, you have to you know, make sure that you're getting enough vitamin D. So where do we get vitamin D? Is it in the food supply? Not really. Vitamin D is actually a nutrient that is not very much in the food supply. There's some foods, certain dairy products and things that are fortified with vitamin D, meaning that's not naturally part of it, but they add vitamin D. The type of vitamin D that they add is vitamin D2, which is basically a non-human form of vitamin D. It's not very usable by the human body. You really want to get vitamin D3 if you're going to take it in supplemental form, and you want to take the right dose that's going to get you to that level between you know, 60 and 80 uh, on a lab test. And for most people, that's probably around 5,000 international units of vitamin D per day. But you really get the test done so you can really take the guesswork out. The other thing to think about is the sun. The sun is really where we get vitamin D. It's completely free. We just go outside at the right time of day and we can actually um, get exposure from the UV radiation which converts vitamin D on the skin and then through kind of miraculous physiology of the body, it goes to the kidneys and liver and turns on vitamin D and does all these great things for the human body. So. What about, you know, I go to my dermatologist and they say, you can't spend time in the sun, you gotta cover up, you gotta put sunblock on. But here's the thing is that there is kind of a formula where it's true, too much you know, sun exposure at the wrong time could be bad for the system. So there is a bit of a formula and the formula is you only wanna be out in the sun between 12 and three for half the time it takes you to burn. So relative to your skin type, if you'd normally burn at like 30 minutes, you wanna be unexposed or let's say unprotected, fully exposed as much skin as, as appropriate for about 15 minutes. And that 15 minutes, you've probably made between five and 10,000 IU of vitamin D. And then you want to protect and put whatever sunscreen or put clothes on or something like that because there's, you know, I live in Southern California. This is where my practice is. And I test everybody for vitamin D and I find low vitamin D all the time. And the reason why even people who are 
who think they're outdoorsy, they're really not out, as outdoorsy as they think they are, at least relative to our genetics, because most people go outside and guess what, you have clothes on. Or some people even put sunscreen on before they even walk outside, so they're already blocking the effect of the vitamin D. So, um, so that's one, is we oftentimes are kind of overprotected from the ability for the sun to produce vitamin D in the system, but also, People who are overweight and obese, unfortunately, that blocks the receptors that allows vitamin D to be properly produced as we get older. And frankly, it starts about age 40. Over age 40, we have a decreasing ability to produce vitamin D in the system. And then things if we have like metabolic issues like um, you know, blood sugar dysregulation and internal inflammation, these will also inhibit the body's ability to uh, produce vitamin D. So there's lots of things that sort of disrupt vitamin D. We can get vitamin D free from the sun, but um, I would very much encourage you to get your vitamin D tested and then take the right amount supplementally and or get it from the sun using that formula and to really get your vitamin D up to those really, really optimal levels because it's vital just for general health. So get your vitamin D, absolutely not a scam. It's one of the most important nutrients and one of those that I see probably most commonly insufficient, if not deficient, in a large majority of people. So hopefully, a little food for thought, get your vitamin D, enjoy the sunshine, a little extra bonus, go exercise outside so you're getting two birds with one stone and uh, enjoy the vitamin D. Until then, I'll see you next time. Keep it real. The Midlife Health Minute in this episode of Keep It Real with Dr. Chad Larson is possible with the help of Pure Prescriptions. Visit our friends over at pureprescriptions.com by using the link in the show notes and to learn more about this great family-owned company.